hi everybody and thank you for watching so here is my cvs haul for today so i do have a, basically only one transaction here to show you i did have a 10 off of 70 that came through on my card and i did have a few extra bucks that were going to expire so i did go to cvs um, i am back if you don't know i did go on holiday with my family around australia and fiji we did get back last sunday but I have not had the motivation to go couponing at all. At the same time, th the deals last week were pretty well okay, but I don't have a lot of extra bucks and even at Rite Aid, I don't have a lot of bonus cash challenge. So I don't have the motivation to go in there and do a lot of deals. Uh, with Rite Aid, I do plan to go in this week. I'm hoping that they still have stock by the end of the week. I'm just waiting for my bonus cash challenge to come through because on my card, one of them I have zero, the other one I have like $10 that's gonna expire at the end of the week. So when I did go on holiday, I kind of really burnt a lot of my extra bucks at CVS and bonus cash at Rite Aid. So, which is why I don't have the motivation to go. At the same time, I have a lot of stuff in my stockpile. I don't need these products, but I thought I would go into the store, utilize the extra bucks that I was going, that was basically going to expire, and then bring you a video. It worked out to be a cost. It's a cost that I don't need, but this is a couponing channel, and I really wanted to bring you a video to show you some of the deals that you can do at CVS. Of course, if you have more extra bucks, this will work out to be a better deal for you, a little bit more out of po less out of pocket for you, but it was more out of pocket for me. But in the end, it did, did work out, and these products I will use anyway, so I was still happy to pick up these items and show you the deals. Okay, so let's go over the first deal. So I did pick up a bunch of these Cardinelle. I did go into the store specifically to pick up these. You can pick up the toilet paper or you can bring up the Scott. It works out cheaper that way because there are uh, digital coupons and shop me and rebates on those. But I really want the flushable wipes. So I did have to pay a little bit more. No coupons, but I was still happy with all these items. Okay, so with the Cardinelle, they are $4.99. It's part of this promotion that if you spend $20, you get $5 back. Like I said, you can pick up the toilet paper. There are Shop Me and rebates. Also, you can pick up the Scott. There, there are Shop Me and rebates on those. So it will lower you out of pocket. But I did pick up these ones. So four of them did come to $19.96. I did get the $5 back. We're going to be a cost of $14.96 or $3.74 each. But these ear these are twin packs so if you want to factor in that i got eight of them we're going to be cost of a dollar 87 each for those so not bad these are items that i would have picked up anyway so happy i was able to pick those up and then i did the png deal i haven't picked up laundry in a long time at cvs i usually get them at rite aid there's been amazing deals at rite aid over the last couple of months but i just decided to do this for some reason I guess when CVS did an update, if you want, if you don't know, CVS did an update and maybe some of the digital coupons disappeared because uh, I know there was a $1 digital coupons on most of these items. They disappeared. I'm not sure what happened there, but I did have one digital coupon that came off or two basically, but one of the gain ones that came off. The rest of them, they were no longer on my account. But let's go over this. So the PNG deal is spend 30, get 10. I picked up one of the Gain uh, Flings. These, This is the big one, the 31 count, I think it is. Um, it's a 31 ounces. Uh, those ones there, they are $13.49 each. We do have a $3 digital coupon on those. I picked up the Gain Flings, the smaller packet. They are $5.49 each. The Downy Unstoppable is $5.49, and then the Bounce is $5.49. So those four items there came to $29.96, so within the 98% rule. I just had one of those $3 digital coupons for the Gain Flings, so I paid $26.96. I got the $10 back. we got to be a cost of $16.96 or $4.24 each. So on its own, it's not the best. I don't need these items. I have a lot in my stockpile, but it's a good scenario. Of course, if those digital coupons came off, those three $1 digital coupons, this will bring it down to $13.96. So not sure what's happening with uh, CVS. I'm just glad even though they updated their system, we still have that um, within the 98% rule. So I was happy that I didn't have to spend more to get my $10 extra buck. The next deal I did is the You Buy Kotex. So they are 
buy one get one 50 percent off buy two and get two dollars back i did pick up two of the liners so one is 209 the second one is a dollar and four cent at 50 percent off so two of them did come to three dollars and 13 cents getting the two dollars back we're going to be cost of a dollar 13 for the two of them so not bad there and so basically with those it came to about i think it was just under 60 so i really needed to I think that was like $50 there. So between the cotton now and the spend 30, that's a $50. So I needed to get to $70 to utilize my spend 70, get $10 off. So I did pick up one of these Revlon. So I really wanted the Maybelline, but my store was completely out. So I did pick up the Revlon. So this one, they are $5.99 each. We do have a $4 CRT that was from last week. For me, it doesn't expire until Wednesday, I think it is. But I did send that to my card and it did come off. So with that one, after the $4 CRT, we're going to be a cost of $1.99, which is really good there. And then I did the Old Spice deal. So the Old Spice, they are buy one, get one 50% off, buy two and get $3 back. I did pick up two of these ones here. So one is $8.59, the second one rang up at $4.29. So for the two of them, it does come to $12.88. I did scan these on my app. I wasn't sure. I couldn't see a digital coupon, but $3 did come off. So we must have a $3 off to digital coupon. So in the end, I paid $9.88. I got the $3 back, but also on Ibotta, I have a rebate to get $2 back on each of them. So I did get $4 back from Ibotta. So in the end, it worked out to be cost of $2.88 or $1.44 each, which is not bad. Okay, so that's everything I picked up. Let's go over my receipt on this one. So over here you've got, um, there is the cotton nail. So there are the four flushable wipes. I did all of this at self-checkout. We have the game flings at $13.49, the bounce sheets, the dryer, our uh, brown dry sheets, the downy, the game flings, the Old Spice, the U by Kotex, and then the Revlon. So over here, you can see, uh, so we've got the Gain Fling digital coupon for $3 off, the Old Spice for $3 off, my 10 off of 70, my $4 Revlon. I only had $15 in extra bucks, that's all I had on this account. So I had to spend a lot, $36.92 out of pocket. So altogether, for this transaction, it was $51.92. Before all coupons, this came to $71. Uh, 92 so 7192 for all of these items here and then basically with all the coupons that i had it was like 5192 so i only had about 20 dollars worth of coupons that is between the um game flings digital coupons so i had six dollars of digital coupons and then 14 of crts so basically with this one it came to 5192 i got 20 dollars back in extra bucks i have the five dollars here for the um, cotton now i have ten dollars here for the spend 30 get 10. i have three dollars here for the um, old spice as well as two dollars here for the u by kotex so in the end for everything after getting the four dollars back in ibotta this all work out to be a cost of 27 dollars and 92 cents so pretty high out of pocket really i didn't have to go to the store and pick up these items but i wanted to do a video for you guys i have been MIA for almost a month now between me being on holiday and then last week I basically took a break trying to readjust coming back to reality between the kids being jet lagged and just getting back onto a schedule with work and the household so I really want to just go to the store and pick up a few items um, I did I just did that and so basically this worked out to be a cost of $27.92 for me. I do have quite a few items here. If you divide it by what, uh, I think I've got like, uh, what's that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine plus. I've got technically eight packets there. So that's like 17 items there. This worked out to be a cost of $1.64 each. So on its own, it's looking at the scenarios it's not like the best deal but if you're going to go to the store and pick up all of these and only pay a dollar 64 each after all coupons i think that's a pretty good deal but other than that um that is my cvs haul for today so not exciting not like a huge money maker that i'm used to getting but we'll see what happens next week i i am still pretty low on extra bucks 
but on this card and my other cards i did get a bunch of 10 over 70 so i do hope next week is a little bit better but i'm gonna have to start investing in some more money at cvs so i can build up my extra bank bank because like i said i have barely anything i think on my other two cards i have like maybe five dollars in extra bucks uh, so i really need to start rolling that into some really good deals and building up my extra bug bank but other than that that is my cvs haul i should have a rite aid haul for you this week i do hope that they have stock for me but i'm gonna wait until i get my bonus cash challenge money because i do not want to keep on investing money into these uh these pharmacies i just want to roll with the, the money that i have so with rite aid one of my cards i earn almost a hundred dollars in bonus cash challenge money and so that's a lot i don't want to do transactions now invest more and then that flows through today or tomorrow and then i have to kind of um i'm struggling to find deals to roll that money because that money doesn't that money only is valid for 30 days but other than that that's me that's it that is my cvs haul don't mind the rambling. I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things. But this is my CVS haul. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, do leave it down below and I will respond to you. But other than that, thank you for watching.